Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to take a look at um, one important field in your composer.json uh, file which we um, covered just slightly in the previous video but we're going to go in depth and see the configurations which are possible with it and why you want to get familiar with the autoload feature in uh, composer okay so let's go ahead um, in our project here so these are um, some of the files that we used in previous videos and um, we're going to take a close look at the composer.json and especially one field which is autoload okay and autoload is just a key with uh, which is an object and it takes um, other um, properties in there and um, the three uh, common ones are psr4 and um, that's also another um, object and the other one is files uh, which is just an array and the other one is class maps okay and that's also an array but in this first video we're going to take a look at psr4 okay but before we go um into the properties that you can set in inside this object psr4 here let's take a look at a common scenario which uh, psr yeah, will be ideal to solve okay so um let's say that um in a, okay in a usual com laravel project okay we usually have one base folder um call app and in there we have some um, other folders let's say controllers and um, inside of app we have a folder called controller and we also have another folder let's say called models okay so inside of controller we may have a class there called um, users controller dot php which has a class we're going to create that in a bit so let's create another file inside of our models here which is user.php okay so let's go to um, users controller here and create a controller file in there so let's just say class okay and we can name the class users controller and uh, yeah let's not extend anything for now okay let's just remove this uh, default um, argument there so let's create another class here called user so um, let's just say class and just name it user and um, yeah we're not extending anything and let's remove the default um, constructor there okay so let's say that in your project you want these files to be auto loaded um, automatically by um, composer so in a usual um, in a traditional PHP application um, let's go in our index here and let's delete up everything in there what you do is um, you say require and then you go to um, app for slash um, controllers and then for slash users controller the PHP and then now you can do something like uh, users equals to new users controller okay and that will work uh, let's go to our console here and I'll just start of a quick uh, PHP server and uh, let's say 2004 okay so I'll go to the browser and I'll load up uh, localhost 2004 okay so it says class users controller not found on line 3 let's go ahead and see what the problem is so users controller um, so we've required app controllers user controller .php. okay so I made a mistake in typing users so it should be users so let's go to the browser and refresh as you can see everything works fine we don't have any errors so that means it's finding users controller using our current approach so let's say we wanted to require um, this user class here in the models folder what we need to do is just duplicate this line and change this to models and then change this to uh, user.php so to instantiate that all we need to do is say user equals to new user okay let's go to the browser and refresh if we don't see any um, errors that means that has worked fine so as you can see I'm refreshing the browser okay so let's go to um, our users controller here and add a constructor function there so let's say function and um, underscore underscore construct and um, let's just put in a message echo there to say echo users instantiated okay just to show that we are um, actually instantiating this so back in the browser refresh users instantiated let's go to the user class and um, I'll just copy this function quickly so copy 
user class and then change this to single user 